Hi. Hi My name is Monica Stone. You're on, I'm on your ballot for state representative. Hi, I'm Alicia Topper. I'm running for state representative. Uh -huh. I believe in a strong field plan. I believe in saying what you mean and talking about what you stand up for. And so, you know, my background in K-12 education, being a teacher, my background in the legislature, working on issues outside of education, those have been the things that I've talked about on my campaign. So what you guys need to understand is <laughs> the house should be clean typically. <laughs> Can I say what you guys? Uh, <laughs> We're waiting for the ballot returns and then numbers to come in, the first count of um, the election for the primary night. And we usually just hang out here and have pizza and wait for those numbers to come in. I think my deep roots here make a big difference. Years and years and years of work on nonprofits, and I'm just very much connected to the 49th Legislative District as well. It's all about building relationships and trust. And I've definitely proven that I have the ability to work with anyone regardless of where they lie on the political spectrum. Okay, so Monica came out ahead. I'm second, so it'll be me and Monica. Okay. Here we go, right? Yeah. On to the general. Second. We're going through to the general. It's time for work, man. So I wanted to let you know that I've been working hard here locally as a Vancouver City Council member on issues like affordable housing. Mm -hmm. I also have been focused on getting additional funding for transportation infrastructure projects and I work full time for Vancouver Public Schools. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm hopeful that you'll consider voting for me and yeah. if you have questions, my cell phone number is on the back of that flyer Okay. and I would appreciate your support. Hi, is this Sarah? Sarah, this is Monica Stonier. I'm on your ballot for state representative, and I was just calling to say hi and to make sure that if you haven't decided, I gave you a chance to ask any questions you might have for me. My own state legislator at the time, Deb Wallace, had been coming to visit my school because as policy was getting passed, I was getting more and more frustrated with the way state testing was affecting our most struggling students. And so I would bring her through and kind of show her our wood shop and show her the different things that we had going on at our school and the negative impacts of policy and how that was probably not playing out the way legislators intended. So she came once and then she came again and again and again and it became kind of a routine. And when she decided to run for Congress, she called me and said, I really think you need to run for the legislature. There is not anybody there who can help people understand what I understand better every time I come visit your school. I think WEA recognizes that this is an opportunity to have a legislator that can craft pro-kid policy in Washington State, and that doesn't exist right now. So um, it, it, to me it was a sign that the teachers have an opportunity to have a voice. Just thinking that a single group can come in to try to um, sway a race in one direction and with that much money, which is just wild in a race where it's two Democrats, two pro-education candidates, and I work for Vancouver Public Schools, so they're going to get support from me regardless. Growing up, homelessness was just a part of existence, so not having a stable school or not having stable housing was definitely something that was a normal experience for me. So you pick a word and then you find out what it means and then you put a sentence together? Oh, that's great. It's a reality that a lot of students face. If you think about unaccompanied youth in our schools and thinking about 2,000 students between Evergreen and Vancouver that are experiencing homelessness and they're sleeping in their cars and they're doubling up with families and it's a reality and so my perspective about K-12 education is that we could fully fund public schools but if we're not focusing on the 45 percent of the state's kids that qualify for free and reduced price meals and helping them be successful in the classroom and providing support to those teachers who are dealing with all these other issues then kids aren't going to make it to the finish line they're not going to make it to graduation
I didn't become a teacher because I wanted to give assignments and grade papers. There are a lot of kids I know that we aren't serving as well as I know we could. And so when I think about them, that's what pushes me to push harder on a bill that maybe would have died or to run for office again or to knock on doors. And there is not an educator's voice in the legislature talking about what kids need in the classroom. There just isn't. I think ultimately you go through all of the hard stuff in the campaign because you want to accomplish the work um, in Olympia for the people here in the district. And for me, that's the, that's the end goal. That's the prize.